also up y'all okay so last night was like really hot last night like it was like really humid and really sort of um it was very hot um so i didn't sleep at all last night um i kind of like didn't sleep so um i'm up now it's like uh, about half four in the morning right now and it's just about getting light outside now but today is apparently forecast for one of the hottest days of um, this heat wave, so that's pretty exciting, I guess. But uh, I think today, well, I've already like done most of it tonight actually, whilst I couldn't sleep. But I'm doing like a bu garlic butter confit thing that um, I saw Poppy Cooks do, and she made us like like confit toast thing with like tomatoes and I feel like bruschetta. Is that how you say it? Bruschetta, bruschetta. I don't know, but. Uh, I'm gonna try and do that today for a bit of a lunch, so that's what I'm doing. But I need to go to the store to get some tomatoes and a bit of more of a things as well. But um, yeah, so that's what today's gonna be. Um, I might just go for a little walk. I might go in the mo I can't speak. But uh, I might go for a walk in the morning though, because um, the morning will be much more better because it will probably get the hottest during the like midday. So. I probably won't be able to like walk. I'll be, I'll be able to walk, I guess, but it'd be a bit hot to walk in. But my aim is to go for a little walk in the morning, go to the store to get the tomatoes and stuff, and then maybe come back here about lunchtime and make the tomato bruschetta, bruschetta, whatever you call it. So that's the plan. So um, yeah, um, you probably see me a bit more like looping, a bit more like crazy today because I have not slept so. Usually when I don't sleep, like I rely on like coffee quite a lot and usually if I have too much like caffeine in me, like I go all like crazy and um, I go all weird. So apologies for that um, in advance, but you know. Okay, so I'm finally here right now. I had a little nap between my last clip and um, now, but um, yeah, it's about half an hour right now and I'm gonna go to for a walk and then um, get some stuff to make, um, some, what's it called, burrata something, I don't know, but uh, we're making that right now, well, today actually, not right now, but, um, yeah. Okay, so, I mean, so right now, which I actually hate shopping answer, like, I don't know, something about it, it's like, always really get on tick, it's always a bit busy, always crowded, but it's, um, the only place that wasn't really crowded today, um, so we decided to come out in the doze, so, uh, doze? The like rows, whatever you call it. But it's had to so I get all the things for um, today. And so, um, yeah. But it's had some bread for them. We've got some cheese, that's all because I opened this packet of cheese which I had at home and it was like really mouldy, so um, I had to buy a new one, of course. But, yeah, so. Okay, so I'm back now. So, um, I was like, well, eight months. I don't know, just sticking out, I don't know, but um, yeah, I'm gonna make the um, garlic bruschetta toast today. So, um, actually, at like 3 am, I peeled this garlic, as you can see, so that's the kind of garlic I'm gonna go in the garlic thing. So, I'm gonna roast the garlic right now. Let me go get the um, clarified butter. Okay, so this is the butter which is set, so um, I melted that overnight. You need like loads of butter for this thing, as well, so I may or not use like literally um, three quarters of a tub of lure pack. Which, if you're in the UK right now, then you're probably thinking, wow, that is insane. You're, you're using, you're literally using a full tub of lure pack because um, lure packs is like nine pound now. So, so now this thing's like set in the fridge right now. So I need to poke a hole in this thing because. I need to like draw out the buttermilk because the buttermilk makes it burn whereas like if you don't have any buttermilk that's why you clarify your butter because then when you clarify your butter it means it just doesn't burn when you melt it and roast it in the oven. Okay so I'm going to put a little hole in this thing. <laughs> I'm going to try and make it melt. There we go. What about the buttermilk? Oh my god okay. Buttermilk's just drawing out. Oh my god, it's really coming out now. Is that it? Okay, so you can't really see me that well. Well, you can only just see my head, but now I'm going to transfer the garlic into this other roasting tin. So we're going to put all this garlic. So I'm going to put this in here so that they got the bottom. I'm wondering if I have to like peel some more garlic though, because um, in a video like she has like loads of garlic, so it really fills the thing, but 
I don't suppose it's called Matt. Uh, uh, I think it'll be alright. So here's what it looks like. So I was gonna put some rosemary in there because you probably some up rosemary in there, but um, I couldn't because I, I opened up the rosemary which I had and it was full of mold, so um, I couldn't add the rosemary, but that looks good. But now I'm gonna roast this in the oven now for about an hour, an hour and a half at 180 degrees, and then hopefully we should have some good old roasted garlic. And then now I'm going to roast the tomato. So I've got to say tomato will have a great fine thing, so I'm gonna put it in exactly the same dish that I used to clarify the butter. So the butter will just make it nice and roasted, so. I'm going to take the knife out first, I'll probably help. And then I'm going to put just the whole tomato in, so, um, just this, um, put it in like so. And I'll drizzle that with some olive oil. So now I'm going to roast this as well, so roast the tomato alongside the garlic, but not for as long. I'm not sure how long you're supposed to roast the tomatoes for, so sorry that I don't know, but, um, you just roast it for how long it takes really. I think tomatoes don't really have a thing. I don't think tomatoes burn, so I think it should be good for roasting as long as the garlic's gonna roast. Okay, so now I'm cooking, well fry actually, some um, bread. So I've got some tiger bread here, so I'm gonna fry this right now like I do with like avocado toast. And the garlic's like roasted now, even though it's only like about 40 minutes in. Um, you're supposed to cook it apparently for like an hour and a half, but I checked the oven just then because the smell was so good, like it smelt so good, so I opened the oven to check and the garlic looked done, so, but um, now I'm frying some bread right now. Um, can't wait to put this with some tomato. ta -da! So, here's what the final product looks like, so, yeah. Oh my god, okay, so the garlic, like, the roasted garlic was like quite hard to smear. I think it's because I cooked it a bit too much, so it was like really hard to like kind of like smear onto the um, bread. So um, I did my best though. Luckily, the garlic oil just like rubbed onto the bread, so it should taste garlicky. But um, I will admit, it doesn't look the best as, as um, other people's burrata toast looks like. But as long as it tastes good, then it shouldn't really matter. Now I'm gonna taste this thing. Tastes pretty alright actually. Yeah, I'll eat them all, all of it now and then I'll tell you guys later. Okay, so I've just had that bruschetta, bruschetta, whatever it's called. First of all, the soap is literally in a second home, like for the past like morning, but um, yeah, I had that bruschetta, 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 whatever you call it. Um, it didn't taste very good, I'll be honest, and it was kind of my fault because I think I cut the garlic too much to the point where the garlic just burnt and tasted like burnt garlic. So that kind of like put me off and then also, um, yeah I think that was it. And plus also I think I used the wrong bread as well. I used a tiger like bread so it was just like normal bread. But I really should have used like sourdough bread or any other like that kind of bread. So I should have used that as well but I didn't. So that was two things that went wrong on my behalf. So. Next time I need to just cut the garlic so it's not burning. And I think it's because also my oven's like really powerful, so if it says something like cook for like an hour and a half, then once it gets like near enough, just about half an hour, then it's already cooked. So I think it's just my oven as well, like my oven's just too good for this thing. So um, I had to throw it away, unfortunately, which I'm very sad about because I actually worked hard on that thing as well, but ah oh well, uh, not to worry, like, I can make it again and improve it. But anyway, I'm gonna um, put some laundry away right now. I just put some laundry out as well. Um, not very interesting to talk about, but um, then I'm gonna go for a little walk. First, I'm gonna order a nice coffee. Um, yeah, life should be good. What's up, y'all? Um, so, I'm out on a walk right now. I've also got a coffee as well, so um, that was pretty good, but yeah, I'm just walking. Um, in the sun. It's actually really hot right now, like it's literally like boiling hot. So I don't know why I've got all this energy to just like walk around right now, but yeah, I'm just off for a walk. I'm gonna go to a park, um, have a little chiller, and then life should be good. Hi. Hello. 
Hi. What are y'all doing? Okay, just. Uh, okay. I've had a water so full for the moment. And well guys, I am so tired, um, I think it's also, it doesn't help either that I pulled kind of an all night last night, um, because I just couldn't get to sleep, so I decided to pull every all night, uh, and then I managed to get to sleep at around about 5ish, then woke up like 9, so I'm kind of like running right now, like 3 hours sleep, so that's always really cool. Okay, so, um, I just came back now, I came in the shower as well, took a nice cold shower because uh, I think a nice cold shower was in order, so, so now I'm going to make a toasted bagel right now with butter because I don't know why I said toast bagel with butter like why did I say it? That, that sounds the most weird thing to say but I'm making myself a bagel right now because I haven't ate no enough all day because um, I, I ate halfway through that garlic bruschetta thing and um, then not eat it and by the way that garlic, that roasted garlic, has made me feel sick because now I feel a bit sort of like lightheaded and a bit like sick, so... And it happened last time I ate roasted garlic, so I think um, eating roasted garlic is like kind of not good for me because um, it um, makes me feel sick, so I mustn't be um, that good with roasted garlic, but um, nothing too serious, but um, yeah. What's up guys, so um, it's much later now and I've just edited my last vlog which took the best of like 3 hours because my editing program was like lagging and kept not loading stuff and freezing every time I tried to move a frame, it was um, gone awful if you ask me but um, at least it's um, done now to print where I can export it so that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, there's literally no air to this heat, like this heat's just horrendous, like I know, I've heard people like, like say on like TikTok or online say like Oh, it's not being so soft, it's just like 36 degree heat, but and they're tweeting that from like America and Australia and stuff, but what you don't realise here is that the UK has a different kind of heat. Um, UK heat compares like heat in like Australia or any other hot country, like is a different kind of heat, like it's more so, like sticky and humid, and um, whereas the other countries are just like hot. But whereas here it's hot, but it's also really humid and very moist. Um, and plus also most of the houses and buildings and stuff in the UK aren't built for this type of weather. Like, like we don't have any air conditioning. Like, the only thing that's keeping the room cool right now, which isn't even keeping the room cool, is this, like, fan which you got on the bedside table. But that's about it. Like, we don't have air conditioning in our houses, like most of... Um, the other hot countries do. So we just have to make do with a good old fan and ice cold water in front. Um, so that's been kind of um, really good. But yeah, um, nothing much really to report here. Um, yeah, I'm going to put some laundry away right now. I need to bring some laundry in from the line. Speaking of which, it did actually rain quite briefly beforehand, like just about tea time-ish. Like the rain started like, pattering down. And it was something like five seconds of rain and it just like went. But you know, I need to bring some laundry in right now. I'm gonna fold that up and put it away. Replace all the bed linen because I've sweat through all the bed linen. So that's, I guess, really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. So if you guys like to watch this vlog, if you have, don't forget to like in this vlog. Do all that. And I'll see you guys in another vlog. In fact, I've actually got something really exciting going on in tomorrow's vlog. I think I might do something which I always wanted to do for quite a while now. We'll find out in tomorrow's um, vlog. Hopefully I'll do it, I'm not sure, but if I don't, then I'll tell you guys what I was meant to do tomorrow. But if I do, then it can be a nice surprise. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys um, in a moment. Goodbye. Thank you.